Hmm, maybe someone doesn't deserve a doggy door. Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, haven't really gone over it, but as of lately, my plan has been to wire my shop at 480 volt. Uh, the Cincinnati CNC machine here requires 480 volt service. Uh, I've got a grinder also that's 480 volt that I've been running on 240 volt which depowers it quite a bit. It's not a dual voltage machine, so I can't change it either. Also, the uh, big Monarch, it's dual voltage, but I have to run real big wired it, and since I'm planning on putting it on the far side of the shop from where the service is, that's a lot of extra wire to run. And I figure in the long run, the 480 volt will be cheaper for me, and it'll expand my abilities to take in new machines because I'm sure a lot of the larger industrial CNC machines or mills or whatever have you that might find their way in here in the future will also probably be 480 volt machines. So might as well just go ahead and plan for that and put in a service for that capability. So with that in mind, I picked up this transformer here. It's a GE three phase and it's a, I think 112 and a half KVA, so should be good for 400 amps, which is all I've got here service-wise. Uh, that's on the 240 volt side, so it's going to be half that. It's going to be 200 amps at 480 volts, which is a lot, 480 volts, I think. Uh, I think the CNC here, uh, it's, I had to look on the back of it and see, I want to say it's, it's 30 amps, maybe. Let me look. So it says it's 35 amps full load, 13 on the largest motor, which would be the 15 horse spindle. So most of my machines would be in the 20 amp or less range. Uh, the only one more than that would be the big Monarch. But uh, this transformer, I pulled the cover off. I thought it said aluminum on the outside of it, but what's inside here sure doesn't look like aluminum. Uh, looks to be copper to me, which is a plus. I prefer a copper one. Uh, and second thought of looking at it, I think it is aluminum. It's just got uh, the varnish over it, makes it look coppery. But, I'm pretty sure that it's aluminum because it looks like it just TIG welded the lugs on here. But this thing is full of garbage, so my first order of business is to vacuum this thing out and then I'll take a meter and check it for see if anything shows continuity between any of the windings and the ground. And if none of that stuff looks bad, then I guess I'll have to hook the face converter up to it and see what happens. So let me get this cleaned up and I'll bring you back. All right, I got this thing cleaned out, so I'm gonna try and check it for shorts. Uh, this really shouldn't, I don't guess it'd be anything between the high side and the low side. nothing to ground. Well there's nothing to ground but it looks like there is continuity face to face. Not sure if that's right or not so I have to go look. Well it looks wired up right. I guess uh, I'll plug this in and see if we get a bang. Hope not.
to check voltages. Functional transformer, so that's a good thing. I'm curious, I don't know what it'll do with the phase converter off with just two legs powered up if there'll be an induced voltage in the third one. I'll check it out. Creating an induced vo voltage looks like probably with some kind of a severe phase shift, too. So you wouldn't want to try and run nothing off that, but it's interesting that it shows like 115 volts on the one. I got to 470 on the one and then 350 and on the secondary phase and 115 so they're probably way out of cycles but uh, looks like it works okay when it's powered up running this Benson see what it does when it's hooked to the machine you may have to jump a tap or something to get it better balanced I think that would be okay to do uh, those that are more transformer gurus can tell me whether or not it's okay to run one of these taps up higher than the rest of them I don't know but I think it'd be all right anyway if that's gonna do it for this I'll seal this thing back up so nobody gets electrocuted in it and uh, Bailey doesn't come by licking on her or something. And uh, should be good to go. Just gotta get the, this up into position and start getting some wiring done. Check this thing for hot spots. Fifty six. Sixty. Fifty seven. Yeah, it's the warmest right in the middle, which probably would figure would be. So none of the conductors show warm.
see how warm it is in the shop. It's about 52. It's not bad considering it's in the teens outside right now. Well, it buzzes a little bit, but I'd say up in the attic with the face converter, I'll never know. Uh, it's not too terribly well. I don't feel like it'll vibrate the building any. But uh, it's like it's going to work, so. Another piece of the puzzle falls into place. Now I've got something I could actually power the CNC mill up with. Uh, of course, there's still pieces not attached to it, so I have to get them brought down from up at the barn and get the hydraulic pump and the pressure lube and all that stuff all hooked up on it and check over all the saw noise and be sure everything's wired back like it's supposed to, and I'll be ready to hook the power up to it, I guess, and see if it still works after sitting for four or five years, whatever it's been now. Eh, yeah, it's probably been five at least. So hopefully it still works. We'll find out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.